Hi all, welcome to Clickshare.com. I'm sure most of you know that clear all is useful functionality. However, sometimes you don't want to clear everything even if the user selects clear all. You might want it to do this for a few reasons. The first reason might be you wanted to have a data island value as your default value. Or you might want it to save your layout state by using some kind of bookmark or data island. Or third reason might be you don't want to use always one selected property. Anyway, it might be any reason, but unfortunately, there is no on clear document event trigger. And this is already part of ClickView idea. Someone has raised this idea, so thanks to them. Anyway, it might be any reason, but unfortunately, there is no on clear document event trigger to reapply your default selection from a data island or a bookmark. So that's our problem for today. So let's learn how to solve this problem. I mean, let's learn how to create our own on clear document bookmark event. So let's follow a mathematical approach. And before we get started, I'm just loading a SQL Server table and calling this as customers. It's a simple table and I'm reloading this. Click, click on OK. And I've already defined some list boxes so that we don't spend time on creating this list boxes. So I'll follow a step-by-step -step approach. The first step is to create an expression. You might not understand now why I'm going down this approach, but don't worry. Let's first concentrate on building the expression. So I'll click on a text object click on equal to and then uh, I'll use the concat function and then I'll use the testing qualifier here then I'll use the dollar field for those who don't know the concat and the testing qualifier please look up my blog or probably look at probably look at the click view reference guide and you will get more information on that and dollar field will actually give you a list of all fields available. It's the metadata field, uh, which gives all the field names in our data model. And now I'll use uh, a string delimiter and I'll use a plus sign and you will understand why in few minutes. Click on OK. And now let's look at our expression. So we're getting uh, all the field names and the delimiter is the plus sign. And now let's go back and let's improve our expression now i'm going to say get selected count this is the click view function this gives you the current selection count in your data model i'm going to use this and then close it with a single quote and i will use an ampersand and i'll come around this and i will close the bracket again single quote and click on apply expand this text box now if you see it's building the string and uh, let's now go ahead and use the dollar sign expansion you will understand what i'm doing now this will be very interesting okay and click on okay so now if you see we have an expression which checks how many field selections we've made and it returns a number so if i select something here and then select something here this becomes two three four five six and if i select something it will give me the number and then this will go on so we have this little expression which works fine now we will use this expression to build this clear all document trigger so I'll show you how to do that. So let's click on clear all and let's go back to our expression again and copy this expression here. And let's go back to variable overview window. Let's create a simple variable. I'll call this V clear my clear all just for the sake of simplicity. And here I'll paste the expression. And before that, I'll create a Boolean condition which checks the value so I'm saying that if this value returns 0 then make it 1 if not always make it 0 
So this way you will either return one or zero. So let's click on OK. Now let's go ahead. Let me copy another text box here. And then let me go back and use that variable v my clear all. You will understand what I'm doing here. Now, if I go ahead and select few things here, this will become zero. Don't look at this text box. Probably we don't need that anymore. I'll delete this and move this here. So what, no matter what I'm selecting, this will always be zero. And the only time this will become one is when I use the clear button or the clear all button. So nothing happens, nothing happens, nothing happens. Even if I clear the fields, nothing happens. This remains zero. However, if I come here and then click on clear, which is clear all, this becomes one. So you're trying to follow a pattern. You're trying to capture that moment where the clear or the clear all event is triggered. That moment is this variable or the expression returning, returning the value one. Now step four. Now let's go ahead and create a default selection with a bookmark. When you click on clear all, you can apply that bookmark. So I'll show you how to do that. So let's go ahead and select 10 as our default customer. So I'm selecting this and then creating a bookmark, add bookmark. And then I'll say default customer. Click on OK. And then again, click on clear all. Nothing happens. Now let's go to document properties. And then under triggers tab, now we will look at the variable event triggers. And then we will say we will use the on change trigger for this variable. And then I'll add my bookmark selection now. So let's go to layout. Oh, sorry, bookmark. And then apply bookmark. And this must be BM02. I think so. We can reconfirm that. Okay, let's go back and reconfirm what is that. Uh, default bookmark it's pm1 sorry so let's go back and uh, i will select bm101 click on okay now you will see something very interesting if i make selections it's all fine this is all fine it's all fine and if i click on clear all you're getting the default value so you will never be able to click on clear all or use clear all because this is your default bookmark which is applying when this value becomes one and it immediately triggers back to zero so you're linking them you're creating kind of a circular reference between the variable and the selection state you're linking them together so this is a very simple technique i hope this makes sense hopefully you can use this in your application please feel free to leave a comment or ask a question if you have any also, I would encourage you to participate in ClickShare's ClickView question of the day, where I ask ClickView questions on a regular basis, and you can answer them to gauge your knowledge. And also, it's free and instant, so why not? Thank you for watching, and have a good day. Cheers.